How to Fix 10 Common Errors in English from EspressoEnglish.net Number 1. It is very important to practice English. The correct sentence is, it is very important to practice English. In this structure, when a verb is used after an adjective, the verb is in the to infinitive. For example, it's better to apologize. It's great to see you. It's difficult to find a parking spot. Number 2. I want to take part of the event. That's not correct. The correct sentence is, I want to take part in the event. The expression take part in is an informal way to say participate in. The expression part of means a piece of or some of. For example, part of this apple is rotten. I'm glad to be part of the team. Number 3. Don't say, these are my favorite's shoes. The correct sentence is, these are my favorite shoes. Adjectives are always singular in English, even if the noun is plural. For example, our house has three small rooms. The forest is filled with giant trees. I have a couple of friendly dogs. Number 4. A. She takes always a long time to finish. The correct sentence is, she always takes a long time to finish. The word always comes before the main verb. Here are more examples. We always take the bus to school. I always forget to close the window. You always think you're right. Number 4. B. He always is late. That's not correct. The correct sentence is, he is always late or he's always late. The only exception to the rule about always coming before the main verb is when the verb is a form of to be. In this case, always comes after to be. For example, we're always tired at the end of the day. I was always the top student in my class. In the future, the word always comes in the middle, will always be. For example, she will always be my best friend. These heroes will always be remembered. Number 5. I couldn't attend to the class yesterday. The correct sentence is, I couldn't attend the class yesterday. When you are present in a place, use the verb attend without to. For example, attend a meeting, attend a conference, and attend a seminar. Attend to means something different. It means to deal with some business or take care of something. For example, I have to attend to some important matters. Paramedics attended to the victims of the accident. Number 6. We arrived to the airport at 3 o'clock. The correct sentence is, we arrived at the airport at 3 o'clock. We use go to and get to, but we arrive at a place and arrive in a city or country. For example, you can say, we got to the party just as it was starting. Got to is an informal way to say arrived at. We arrived at the party just as it was starting. If we take the express train, we'll get to Berlin in an hour. Or, if we take the express train, we'll arrive in Berlin in an hour. But don't say arrive to. It's not correct. Also, remember that the word home doesn't take any prepositions. For example, we arrived home early. We got home early. And let's go home. You don't need to say go to home. Just say go home. Number 7. The accident caused a lot of damages to the car. The correct sentence is, the accident caused a lot of damage to the car. Damage is considered an uncountable noun and is always singular. The word damage means harm or problems to an object or property. The noun damages means something different. This word refers to the money awarded by the court to compensate for the damage. 
For example, if a faulty microwave explodes and causes damage to your house, the manufacturer of the microwave might have to pay damages to you so that you can repair your house. Number 8. My apartment is 10 miles far from here. The correct sentence is, my apartment is 10 miles away from here. You can also say, my apartment is 10 miles from here, without using away. It's confusing because the question asks how far, but we don't use far in the answer. For example, how far is the nearest gas station? It's about two blocks away. How far is the museum from here? At least five miles. You should probably take the bus. You can only use far in the answer when you are not giving a specific distance. You're just giving a general answer. For example, if someone says, how far is the nearest gas station, you could say, it's not far, meaning it's a short distance away, or it's pretty far, quite far, or very far, meaning it's a long distance away. Number 9. The boss requested me to send the information. The correct sentences are, the boss asked me to send the information. That's less formal. Or, the boss requested that I send the information. That's more formal. After the verb ask, we always use a person. For example, they're asking him for answers. She asked me for a drink. He asked us to take his picture. I'm asking them to stop. The word request is a more formal word for ask for. We do not use a person immediately after request. For example, they are requesting answers. She requested a drink. When someone requests an object, we use request plus the object. She requested a drink. And when you ask that somebody do something, then we use request that. For example, he requested that we take his picture. I'm requesting that they stop. Number 10. On next Friday, we're going to Paris. The correct sentence is, next Friday, we're going to Paris. When using next, last, and this, you don't need to use a preposition, like on, in, or at. For example, let's get together this Saturday. I went to Russia last July. We're going hiking next weekend. You don't need to say in last July or on next weekend. Simply last July and next weekend are fine. Would you like to get corrections on your written English? In the Advanced English Grammar course, each lesson includes a writing task where you can send me your text and I'll send you feedback. This course will help you master the details of English and take your English from good to great.